Tempe, Arizona, January 31st, Romello White. Photo by Chris Caduto, Getty Images, as Bobby Hurley entered his fourth season at Arizona State, there were plenty of firsts he likely wanted to achieve. Of each, a first win against Arizona was probable to be at the top of the list. He attained that goal Thursday, as the Sun Devils used a 95-88 overtime win over their rivals to improve to 6-3 in Pac-12 play. ASU is now tied with Oregon State and USC for second in the league standings, making its last nine games crucial for tournament seeding in Las Vegas and beyond. However, the Sun Devils may not be able to catch who lies above them, the Washington Huskies. At 9-0, Mike Hopkins' squad is distinct from the rest of the pack, and it showed no sign of slowing down in double-digit victories over USC and UCLA. This week, the Sun Devils will face the Huskies in Tempe, where we will see if the Pac-12 crown can be stolen from Seattle. If not, everyone just may be fighting for second place. Currently, teams ranked 2 through 9 are separated by two games. That means Stanford, who scraped by Cal last week, and Arizona, who has lost three straight, still have a chance at a bye in the conference tournament. As disappointing as the Pac-12 may have been in the non-conference season, we should be in for an exciting finish in the last nine games. At the midway point of league action, here's where each team stands in our conference power rankings. Next, 12. California Golden Bears page 2 Los Angeles, California, January 5th, Justice Suing. Photo by Catherine Lotz, Getty Images, the California Golden Bears went off the deep end weeks ago. Now, Coach Viking Jones' team has well immersed in the depths of college basketball's abyss. Cal nearly escaped Toss Pavilion against Stanford on Saturday with its first Pac-12 win in hand. In the midst of a lost season, the win would have been a bright spot, the Golden Bears' first since December 21st, as well as bragging rights over their rival. Following two made free throws by sophomore guard Joe and Harris Dyson, Cal led by seven with just over six minutes to play. Momentum was on the Golden Bears' side with their home crowd backing them. Instead, Stanford eked out a 84-81 win to keep Cal out of the win column since the turn of the calendar. It's no secret that Jones' second season in Berkeley has been nothing short of a disaster. And though nine games remain on the schedule, the idea of his team finishing winless becomes less far-fetched by the week. The program only mustered two conference wins a season ago but is on track to surpass that if it fails to record a win over the final month. Two Pac-12 wins in a season is already a program worst for the Golden Bears. Should they lose the remaining nine games, a theoretical record of 5-25 would be the fewest wins in program history since the 1978-79 season. Cal will aim to pick up its first win in Oregon when it travels to face the Ducks and Beavers this week, Zach Pacale next, 11. Washington State Cougars page 3 F-U-L-L-E-R-T-O-N, C-A, in November 23rd, Robert Franks. Photo by Jane Kamian Wunsa, Getty Images, for a while, it looked like Washington State was primed to make a splash in the Pac-12. Starting the season 5-2, they looked ready to make a slight leap. Well, that simply hasn't been the case. The Cougars have fallen back into familiar losing habits and amassed the second-worst record in the conference, sitting at 8-14 overall and 1-8 in league play. Despite the heroic individual efforts from Robert Franks and C.J. Ellaby, the team simply doesn't have enough on either end to legitimately compete in the conference. Franks is scoring an impressive 21.4 points per game while shooting above 50% from the field and a shed under 35% from downtown. He has been a standout player in all of the NCAA this season and has crafted a case to play professionally post-college. But as we all know, hoops is a team game. And standing as losers of five straight conference games, WSU marches into State 48 for a two-game set against the University of Arizona and Arizona State, two of the conference's better teams this season. 
Right now, things aren't looking great for Wazoo. The Wildcats are on yet another downswing but still heavily outclass the Cougars, and ASU has re-established its identity and is playing good basketball again. It only gets worse from there, as the Cougars take on their rival in the conference leading Washington Huskies the following game in Pullman, Richard Giraffo next, 10. Colorado Buffaloes page 4 Use your arrows to browse New York, NY, November 21st, head coach Tad Boyle of the Colorado Buffaloes reacts against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish in the second half of the 2016 Legends Classic at Barclays Center on November 21st, 2016 in the Brooklyn Borough of New York City. Photo by Michael Reeves, Getty Images, after splitting a pair of home games with Oregon State and Oregon, coach Ted Boyle and the Colorado Buffaloes now sit at 12-9 on the season and 3-6 in Pac-12 play. This entire season has been up and down for the Buffaloes as they haven't been able to find their true identity yet, and the trend continued this past weekend. In the first matchup of the week, the Buffs were able to take an early lead against the Beavers as they led by 9 late in the first half. However, a problem that has haunted Colorado many times this season made a return, as they saw their lead diminish in a 76-74 loss. Just a few days later, the Buffaloes looked like a completely different team against the Ducks. One of the main takeaways is that the Buffs put their foot on the pedal early and never let off the gas. At one point, Colorado jumped out to a 24-5 lead thanks to a 17-0 run midway through the first half. Its lead never dipped back below 15 as they were able to close out the Ducks 73-51, a big component in the win over Oregon was a huge night, provided by sophomore Tyler Bay, who notched his ninth career double-double with 27 points and 10 rebounds. The Buffaloes will get the chance to show which team they plan on being throughout the rest of conference play this week when they head to Los Angeles to take on the UCLA Bruins on Wednesday and the USC Trojans on Saturday, Bo Wilkinson next, 9. Stanford Cardinal use your arrows to browse.